In this video, I will explain the process of making the CAD model of the NREL Phase 6 wind turbine in SOLIDWORKS. And these slides are, are provided to you so that you can understand that the which steps are taken in which order. And these all steps we will discuss one by one in this video. Okay, so these things are very important. So just whenever you don't understand anything in the video or you want to just uh, want to get uh, some quick reference, just come here and go through these slides and you will understand. First of all, you will be getting these two files in the, in the course uh, downloading section. The first one is the S as well an arrow file, which you, you can see. which you can see also in the slides. And uh, you can also get these coordinates from the internet. Just go to NREL website or just uh, search the S as in an arrow file, you will get these coordinates. And also you can get them from this file. You can type them in the Excel and you can get these coordinates. Or the simplest way is that just download these two files and you will get these, these files. So first of all, once you get the, these coordinates, you have to, let's say now we have the X and Y, so you have to put the Z coordinate. This is a requirement of the software. The SOLIDWORKS will not take the coordinates only in the X and Y. It requires third dimension also. So because third dimension is not, it's not there, so they definitely for nothing we put the zero. And this is the upper section, which is up to here. And then we have the lower section, which is starting from here. So simply copy these uh, points from here. So right click here, copy and uh, then simply open new text file inside the text editor or notepad and uh, simply paste the file. So go to edit and then click on the paste. Let me show you on the new file. So this is the way we, we will be doing the, we will be getting the files. So simply arrange them. This is not required here because without this arrangement, this, uh, the, the file will work properly in the SOLIDWORKS. But if you can arrange this, maybe you can uh, uh, take care of the any potential problem which you can face in some cases. So this is how this is my habit to make the files in this way. Okay, so uh, you just need coordinates because we are, not, we are going to create the curves ourselves. So we just need coordinates and this order is not important. This is a file which I pasted here. And it's a slightly different file, but this will work also. But what I will do is that I will be just copying the coordinates from here. And uh, I will make a new file. So let's say this is the, my new text file. And uh, this is the S809 arrow file. And uh, I will call this as a practice. Okay, so I will paste these coordinates here and uh, then save. So just let me rename. So this is a spelling is not correct. So practice. And now I will copy this file in the F folder. So I will working, I will start working from here. And uh, from the search menu, just search for the SOLIDWORKS and open. After opening, just close the this welcome screen and uh, then go to the this uh, gear sign and then click on the add-ins. And uh, make sure that a scan to 3D is enabled because we are going to scan the 3D coordinates into the SOLIDWORKS and simply click on the OK. And then go to the, the menu for the file and click on the open. And now I will be browsing to the my required folder or the drive where I have the file. So this is the file I have. And uh, by choosing this file and then click on the open. And uh, make sure that the file type is uh, enabled is a scan to 3D point cloud 
files. So these are the X, Y, Z or text file or the other format. So because we are importing text files, so this is also here. But don't open the file as a general file. So just change the file type to scan 3D and then open the file. And then click on the op options. And in the options, choose the meters because the geometry is made in the meters. And if you do it in the millimeters, this will be scaled by the thousand. So every element, every dimension will be divided by the thousand. So make it meters and then click on the file and then click on the open. And now you can see that we, we, we have imported the, these uh, coordinates, which you can see clearly here. And uh, if I just uh, make it view to the front view, you can get these all points. Okay, now uh, one more settings I will be doing here and then we will see the other procedure, the geometry making in the other videos. So first thing is that the, the last thing in this video is that change the units from IPS, inch pound second to the MKS, meter kilogram and the seconds. One thing. Second thing is that go to the this uh, gear sign, click here and this time when, once you open the file, these coordinates, you will get the second second tab here which is document properties and inside go to units and in the length make that that the it should contains at least the six six, six places after decimal why because this file the coordinates we are getting here are after zero are one two three four five six so if you don't do it it will just round off the value to the second decimal place and these values will be now instead of the 0 0.001942 it will be 00. 0, 0. 0.003723 will be the 00. 0. So that's why make it as a as a up to six decimal places for the length and then click on the OK. One more thing uh, whenever you close the file and open the file the system uh, of the units will be IPS again. So if you want to make it permanently saved in your template, then you have to go to file and then save as and then choose the templates. So from the file type, choose the templates and go there. Okay, so part template and save it. So let's say I put the name as the XYZ and close this file and uh, also save this file as let's say we just call this file in the in the F drive this is the NREL phase 6 coordinates so ju we just import the coordinates so I will just put the name as the NREL phase 6 coordinates and save it and uh, now again close the project and uh, then now we just check the file we have saved the file here and double click here and this will open the SOLIDWORKS and this will also load the file inside the SOLIDWORKS so you can see that right now it's the MKS but if you close this again and uh, open the SOLIDWORKS, the units will be changed to the IPS. So for example, if you import the file again, and uh, the file is over here, and again you get the IPS, and also the units were also uh, millimeters. So if you close this uh, SOLIDWORKS again and open it again, and this time I will be loading the my template for the SOLIDWORKS, which is the MK system. So from here, let's say we have the this uh, template here, so I can open. And uh, now you can see that the system is the MKS. So this is the one way, but I would I would recommend that the change the things first when you import the file. So change the units from millimeters to meters and then come here change the units here also and then go to the gear sign 
and then from document properties go to units and change the units to the six places and make it make sure there's some mks and simply click ok